Hey, we have on the board the integral of dx over 1 plus 2 sine x plus cos x. If you had other ways to solve this, let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to hear of any alternate solutions. But what I did was I did a particularly interesting substitution where I said I'm going to set t equal to tan over x over t. So at this point, you might think this is really counterintuitive, right? Because I'm making a substitution. I don't have tan in the expression, and I don't have anything x over 2. I don't have, so I don't have anything like this, and I'm substituting for that. So what I'm trying to do here is what's called, or what's known as a wear stress substitution. And even though it seems very counterintuitive, this is usually works pretty well for integrals where you have something of this kind of form, where in the denominator you're adding trig functions and you may have a hard time uh, simplifying it with just normal um, trig identities. You can try to do this kind of substitution on basically any trig integral. I just noticed that typically it'll probably make the problem harder. It's only a very specific problems, kind of like this, where it actually will help simplify it. Okay, so how do we go about using this when we have this thing that we don't, we can't match to anything in our expression? Well, we just need to do some normal manipulation of this and find all the values we need. So to start with, what I'm going to do, I want to find my dx and dt value. So I can rewrite this as just using the inverse. We can write it as tan inverse of t equals x over 2, but then just multiplying by a 2 on both sides, we have x equals 2 tan inverse of t. Taking the derivative, I'm going to have dx equals 2 times the derivative of tan inverse is just um, 1 over 1 plus t squared. Okay, next what we want to do, we want to figure out how are we going to get some kind of value in to work with our sine and cosine when we just have this as uh, tangent and also the fact that we get that we don't we want the angle to be x not x over 2. So from here what we can do is create our triangle to look at it, a triangle with the angle of x over 2 because that's our input tangent over here. So if tan x over 2 is t then we have t in 1 because opposite over adjacent is going to give us back t. Then we can just find our hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem as the square root of t squared plus 1. So then what this allows us to do, it allows us to get sine and cosine, but in terms of the half angle. So our sine of x over 2 is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So that's going to be t over t squared plus 1. And then for cosine x over 2 in our triangle, we're just going to have 1 over t squared plus 1, or square root of t squared plus 1. Okay, so that's good that we have our all of our major trig functions, but we don't have the right angle we're doing in terms of x over 2. But that's pretty easy to fix because we can use our um, double angle formulas. Okay, so now I have over here the double angle formula for sine and cosine. And the only thing that might be a little unfamiliar is we've made a substitution in the angle. So normally we'd have two sine x cos x equals sine of two x. But if you substitute in the half angle for sine and cosine, everything's a half. So instead of having an x here, we have an x over two, x over two, sine x. And then the same thing for our double angle formula for cosine, we just substitute in x over two, and we have this formula here. So everything on the left here, everything over here, we already know, we just found the value for us, we already know our half angle trig functions. So then we have a way to get to our full angle trig functions that we want for here. Okay, so now just plugging in, I'll first find my value for sine of x using this formula here. So we're gonna have two sine x over two, which we know is this value. So that's gonna be t squared root of t squared plus one and then our cosine x over 2 value, which is going to be 1 over the square root of t squared plus 1. Multiplying that out, we're going to have 2t in the numerator, and then square these two terms is the same thing. So when we square it with the square root, we just get back t squared plus 1. Then we'll just do the same thing for cosine. Using this formula here, we need cosine squared of x over 2, so that's just going to be this thing squared, which is 1 over t squared plus 1 minus um, sine squared, which is going to be t squared over t squared plus 1. But then we have the same denominator, so we can just write this as 
1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. Okay, so now over here on the right, we have everything I think we need to solve this problem. One thing I'll add to this list, even though we don't need it for this problem, is just we could also find tan of x by just dividing, multiplying, I'm oh, sorry, having sine of x divided by cosine of x, and that's just going to be 2t two, two, two over 1 minus t squared. And then similarly, we could do the same thing if we want. Secant is just going to be the reciprocal of cosine, and cosecant is going to be just the reciprocal of sine. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and we'll do our substitution. I'm just going to write a 1 in the numerator. Then we'll have 1 plus 2. Now making substitution for sine, this piece is going to be 2t over 1 plus t squared plus a cosine, which is going to be 1 minus t squared uh, over 1 plus t squared. And then we just have our dx, which is going to be, I'm just going to write this all the way out here. So I'll write it as 2 over 1 plus t squared. Okay, so next one we're just, just going to multiply all this stuff back in and get some simplification. So we'll take our 2 out front from here. And then when we multiply this 1 plus t squared, we're going to have a bunch of, can it's going to cancel here and here. We just don't want to forget about this 1 here. So let's try to put this all together. We'll have a dt in the numerator. Then we're going to have 1 plus t squared. This piece is just going to be 4t. And then here with this canceled, we're just going to have plus 1 minus t squared. Okay, then next we'll just do a little additional simplification here. So our t squares, we have a t squared minus t squared, so that's going to cancel. We're just going to be left with 4t plus 2. And then since we have a 2 out front there and we can pull a 2 out of our denominator, just to simplify it all the way, we're going to end up with dt over 2t plus 1. And, and that's a really easy integral. That's just going to be 1 half ln absolute value 2t plus 1 plus c. Okay, then the only thing left to do is back substitute, but we have our t value. It's tan of x over 2, so we can rewrite this as half ln absolute value 2 tan x over 2 plus 1 plus c. Now from here we could leave this and this would be our answer, but we also could simplify a little bit if we like. We have this identity tan x over 2 is the same thing as 1 minus cos x sin x. And then actually if you just simplify that a little more, this is the same thing as cosecant x minus cotangent x. I think what I'll do is use that half and we'll write it as square root. So we could write our answer this way, 2 cosecant x minus 2 cotangent x plus 1 plus c. So that's it. Got this from my quiz, Where Stress Substitution. Hope that helped. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.